What's up, everybody? OMB. Hey, look, I appreciate y'all subscribing to the channel. Do subscribe if you're not subscribed. And hit the bell icon so you can be notified for future videos. Now, I know this video is a sensitive subject, but I'm going to talk about it anyway. But I do want to say this from the jump. If you're gay, that's your business. I don't care. I have a problem with people doing what's on this article because that's indoctrination. Anyway, perspective. You can't trust Sesame Street anymore to educate your children. It says, growing up, and this is a woman, you know what I'm saying, and, and uh, she's talking about the stuff that she's seen. I ain't seen Sesame Street since back in the Sesame Street days, so I don't know what's going on on it. But anyway, she says, growing up, I'm not sure that my mother would have been able to shower and get ready for work. Were it not for Sesame Street babysitting me for a few minutes, it was a beloved part of part of my day and critics and critical part of hers. Without the show, she'd have been at a loss about how to safely keep me occupied long enough to get us out the door. I finally remember the letters and numbers of the day, the celebrity guest stars, and the cantankerous Cookie Monster stealing my heart. Now I'm gonna tell you the truth. I remember the guest stars too. Because that was the first time I seen Herbie Hancock. And he was using a voice box. He was showing you all of this stuff with, with, with all, you know what I'm saying? And then they had another show that came on after that where he really got in depth. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, when I was creating my own baby registr um, registry, I added a DVD player and seasons of all the old shows I grew up with, including Sesame Street. It wasn't just nostalgia driving my desire to have the physical copies of these shows. My husband and I had already witnessed a shift in purpose and direction of contemporary children's media over the past decade, and it wasn't a journey I wanted my kids to take on. Mm -mm. It's not, it wasn't a journey I wanted to take my kids on. You know what I'm saying? Now, look here. Yo. <sighs> Says, but the shifts keep coming. Last month, Sesame Street marked Pride Month by showing a type of family that has never been seen in the 51-year history of the Iconics children's television show. You're doing this on the children's show, right? The show shared an episode last week called Family Day. The features that features a married gay couple of two dads with their daughter, a dad named Frank, played by Alex Weissman, and a dad named Dave, played by Chris Costa, along with their daughter, Mia, um, played by Olivia, Olivia Perez, join the neighborhood family that surprises Big Bird at a party. A character in the episode observes that all of our families are so different. This, there's all kinds of different families, Frank said. But what makes us a family is that we love each other. Sesame Street has addressed a range of social issues in recent years, including addiction, incarceration, race, homelessness, and autism. And she goes on to say, I don't particularly care if Sesame Street features episodes with two dads. We have discussed with our children the different family makeups around us. What makes this episode and the entire trend in children's media troublesome is the assumption that it is up to the media company to introduce topics, topics ranging from addiction to same-sex marriages on their terms and that these topics should be presented to toddler age children watching programs like these, like, like Sesame Street, which I totally agree. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it, 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 just, it just doesn't, it, I, I don't, I don't, I don't subscribe to that. And then, and then she goes on to say, parents should take note. The aim of children's media is no longer to provide free, education-minded babysitting while you get ready for work. Parents who want to remain the, gui the guiding force. Parents who want to remain the guiding force in their kids' moral upbringing should opt out of kids' media produced in the last decade or so and invest in some vintage Sesame Street. The screen may not be in HD and the latest celebrity guest star may be dated, but at least you know you can walk out the room for a quick shower. That's worried, B. Like I said, what y'all do, if you gay, what you do is your business. 
But don't be going feeding this to the children, yo. See, that's an agenda. You know what I'm saying? And then there's a lot of y'all. See, here's here's something. I'm 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 gonna spread some knowledge on this right here. Let me see how long I've been on. Uh, don't know. But um, y'all say that y'all born like that, right? You're not born like that. When you come out the womb, you're not like that. Guess when you get like that? When they vaccinate your ass. Now, let's look up the word vaccination or vaccine. Since y'all think y'all know what it is. A substance used to stimulate the productions of antibodies and provide immunity against one or several diseases. Prepared from the causative agent of a disease, its products or a synthetic substitute. Treated to, and then it says treated to act as an antigen without including the disease. Now check this out. Prepared from caught, um, um, causative agents, agent of a disease. Isn't mental problems a dis-ease? You know what I'm saying? Now, that last line, treated to act as an antigen without including the disease, I don't know about all of that, B. You know what I'm saying? But hey, think about this. They have to give you this stuff in order, f in, they say, in order for you to be vaccinated against it. But your body does it naturally. So why you need to stick this in me, huh? Well, what, what, is that, what is all of that about? Have you ever heard of Phil, Dr. Phil Valentine? Look him up. His son never been vaccinated, ever. Son is brilliant, intelligent, smart as hell, B. You know what I'm saying? Y'all need to look these people up. And I ain't talking about the white boy. You know what I'm saying? So when you're born, they give you a vaccine and give you a damn disease, a whole bunch of them. What kind of psychological effects you think that's having on you? You see what I'm saying? This stuff is not for you, black folk. It's for them. But, you know, what, 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 what who am I? I'm just a YouTuber, right? O&B signing out. Peace.